this is St. Mary's, uh, which is the flagship uh, Catholic church in New Haven. And the canal that we walked over just a moment ago is really responsible for uh, the origins of uh, Catholic immigration to New Haven, to Connecticut, as Aaron was saying. Um, and uh, the first uh, Catholic minister, Catholic priest to come to, uh, to New Haven was called in about 1827 when one of the uh, workers on the uh, canal was uh, pretty much ready for uh, extreme unction. Was very ill. Uh, and this is not the first site of, uh, of St. Mary's. That was uh, in the hill section of, of New Haven. Um, there were problems. I, I, would, I think it's fair to say that the Catholics were less welcome uh, by the um, the Protestant establishment in New Haven, even in the Jews. Uh, and one of the early churches uh, that uh, the um, Catholics built burned down in 1847. Um, the next one that they put up, uh, they cited in between two Protestant churches uh, with the view that if it was arson the first time, nobody's going to light this one on fire because uh, it'll spread. Uh, in 1868, uh, the Catholic community of New Haven purchased this uh, spot of land, on, and this is Hill House Avenue, uh, which uh, Mark Twain described as the most beautiful uh, street in America. Uh, it's, it is the home of the uh, president of Yale, it's the home of the uh, chief engineer of the now uh, it's it's really um, ground zero for the for the New Haven uh, Protestant establishment, and they were outraged uh, when that purchase was made, uh, but had nothing they could really do about it. Um, the church was dedicated in 1874. And about eight years after that, uh, this gentleman here, um, you can see his portrait uh, and you can see his stature. Uh, Father Michael McGivney uh, was a, an assistant pastor, uh, a really young guy. And, and his uh, father, he was from Waterbury. His father uh, worked in the um, the. Uh, brass casting uh, industry uh, and uh, in an industrial accident died when uh, McGivney was very very young um, and so he saw a, 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 a desperate need for uh, a way to uh, provide assistance to provide uh, uh, sustenance to um, the families that had lost their breadwinner, Catholic immigrant families um, that no longer had uh, their uh, chief worker at home. They lost a father or, or a husband. Um, and that uh, he uh, uh, dedicated in the name of Christopher Columbus. It became the Knights of Columbus, uh, whose national headquarters is still here in New Haven, um, which is the second largest employer uh, in the city of New Haven, not well known. Uh, and it's one of the largest life insurance companies in the country. That's fundamentally uh, what it is. Uh, it's like very similar to the, to the, uh, uh, the Jewish um, uh, community associations uh, that were established at the same time. Well, uh, Father McGivney, was uh, uh, researched for sainthood uh, in 1996 uh, and uh, uh, became um, a, a, uh, 
a, um, a beatus was beatified uh, in 2020, um, in May of 2020. That is the last stop before full sainthood, well, full canonization. Uh, so, and his uh, remains are interred in the crypt in this building. So you can guarantee that for the next number of years, uh, this is going to be the national center of American Catholicism. This is this is um, a really important figure in uh, world philanthropy.